So what does a day look like when having classes of Rob and Guido? A lot of letters, definitely. <laughs> you can make like you know, 10 sheets a day. It's either uh, having feedback sessions with the teacher or receiving uh, workshops from the teacher and then like trying to implement in your practice what you learned. As the day starts, that's when you make like your worst letters and then with practice, like your very last sheet tends to be your best sheet. For example, one project we had was film based, so we had to watch a film and then make a publication based on it. I would say every week, every class is kind of different. So sometimes it's doing like a game or a workshop. Uh, sometimes it's a lecture, a tutorial, uh, talks in different settings on so small groups individually with the entire class. And I, th I think what's really nice, I think both of us feel like students yeah. and like to feel <laughs> like students. Uh, so then in that sense, we're also like say, designing the class, designing the course. It's a mix of, of, of analog and, and digital work and especially also kind of the combination between the two and how, how they interact. In the graphic design department, we, are, we really like to question our methodologies, uh, the way we approach the course, the way we approach graphic design in general. Udo became my favorite uh, tutor in uh, Kavaka so far because his class is mostly uh, focused on the development of the individual sheet. And I don't mean that I don't like the other teacher. Mm -hmm. I love all. I love, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I don't know where I can see I love you. <laughs> it's never black and white, even though the calligraphy is. <laughs> Usually. Yeah. So, now the question that you are afraid of who is more talented <laughs> the students or the tutors <laughs> that's a good Whoa. one i can't uh, that's a good one the students, students for real for students. sure yeah, no definitely. doubt about it no it's yeah, true yeah. it's true and yeah. we talk about it actually quite often we yeah. see work and we're like wow how did they come up with this i think it's so um the level is so high i mean Guido. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, like, yeah. like, you also see that when he like teaches us, it's like, yeah, and perfect, like, and then you need down, so long. Like, yeah. yeah, literally, because you can just tell it's experience to it. I think with typography yeah. specifically, it's not even talent, it's more so just who's put in the most time and effort. Yeah. And when we're in the train back then, we're often called each other like, whoa, <laughs> do you feel as energized as I am? Where sometimes student asks a question and you're like, I don't know. Let's let's figure yeah. it out. Let's yeah, like yeah. try to see how this works. Yeah, it's a student. collaboration. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good word. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't know what to say. There's no answer to it. <laughs> it's a tough question. Yeah. It is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> now we are getting into the curriculum, the nitty gritty of the graphic design department. Um, I am joined, of course, by Lauren and two students, uh, Paolo uh, in year four and Shalene, who is in year one. Uh, and I'll just get right into it. So Lauren, why don't you tell us something about the buildup of the curriculum? Sure. Um, so we have four years of study and that's quite unique actually to the Kabekai in general is that we focus for those four years on a specific practice, so on graphic design, whereas maybe in other schools they do a first year which is quite general. We actually just get right in there and go for it uh, for all the four years. The first year is uh, rather uh, looking at practical skills, so um, what you've just seen actually, the video uh, with Hido and with Rob, is looking at typography and uh, type design is the name of those subjects um, and yeah sorry about that but but we hopefully can post one of those videos so you can see um, the other subjects that you uh, look at in the first year are graphic design as a course in itself you also have image class looking at uh, printed and moving image uh, and coding as well we introduced from the very first year then in the first year we also have theory as well and a little bit of the professional practice that uh, Chantelle mentioned earlier we also do now from the first year. Then the second year of the study is actually um, pretty much the same courses but what we try to do is encourage students to look at their courses within a kind of context thinking more about audience who are you making this for and why these kind of questions so it's more on a conceptual level I think uh, 
yeah, a bit more of a deepening of those subjects within the second year. And in the third year of the study, it's much more research based. But essentially for the first, second and third year, we actually continue with the same courses. Um, in the fourth year of the study, of course, everything comes together and you have your big final graduation project and also the internship in the fourth year. Um, so some of the other things that are really exciting in the second and third year are the elective subjects that you get to choose and that way you can also customize your study and kind of tailor it to actually the things that you want to focus on and those elective subjects are called moving image which are it's looking at narratives video based work design inquiry group which is um, kind of research based artistic practice uh, experimenting with exhibition making we have Letter Studio, and that's looking at the details. Uh, I'm sure Paolo will love to tell us more about that later of uh, letter design, uh, right from the drawing to the very, like, uh, the usage of your the font on your computer. Uh, we have Design Office, where we have practical um, assignments from the field, working with clients. Um, so all of these are elective subjects that the students can also use to customize the study a little bit. We also have IST, uh, which should not be forgotten because that's Alex's baby. We have uh, the individual study trajet, which is uh, an amount of study points. Well, actually, you should be explaining that one, Alex. Um, yeah, you yeah, to do? yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'd be happy to. Uh, yeah, so IST, as Lauren mentioned, is the individual study tract. Uh, but this happens in your years two and three. And really, it's a moment for you to really delve deep into your curiosities and develop uh, and even challenge your relationship to your own practice. Um, so yes, that happens in years two and three. It's uh, yeah, an essential part of, of, your, of your curriculum. Um, but we'll be getting more into ISTs and more student-led initiatives in, in a bit. Um, Lauren, thank you. Would, would you like to continue? Yeah, well, it's just basically to summarize for year one, two and three, I think you really focus on specialized practical skills that you need and that ranges from image making to coding um, and then in year four I think it all comes together really nicely together with your thesis so there's research and practice throughout the study throughout the four years. Perfect, perfect. Um, Shaleen, may I ask you a question? Now as a first year, uh, these are potential first years, can you just walk us through what in your own opinion what you think some of the essential parts of the study program so far you've experienced? I think like not just like adding on to like practical skills, I think it's really important that um, Kabika actually integrates some theory because I feel like theory actually helps to give your work into more context. So we actually learn not just about graphic design history as a graphic design major, but we also learn about art history and everything else from like philosophy. And we actually do that with other students from the first year as well. So I think that's that actually helps to build up like your context in the work and it makes you more critical and it makes you reflect on your work a lot more. Yeah, so I think that's really nice on top of everything else you learn from like using Photoshop and like video editing skills, like coding. I think it's really nice that we have like a wide range of skills we learn. So there's like coding and we also go into like a bit of electronics as well in the IMD module, which is interactive media design. So we actually learn how to use Arduino. Yeah, so I think it's really nice. Nice, yeah, thank you. Now, Paolo, as a fourth year, you've been through the process. You're about to start your graduation setup and graduation work. Um, Shaleen mentioned a few of the, the technical skills that she's learned. Can you give us uh, your side as a year four? Uh, what are some of the technical skills that you've been taught throughout your, your time? Yeah, here? so it's, uh, the nice thing is that it really depends on what you want to focus in those uh, three years. Uh, you can use all the workshops that you want, and that's also a very important thing that is not uh, maybe a specific part of the curriculum, but it's something that you have to make use of, uh, and that will also shape what you will do in your graduation thesis. The other nice thing is that you're doing uh, IDMD and coding for three years, uh, and we see now a lot of students that, for example, they have to build their own tools to make research, like they want to research something as a natural phenomenon, but they cannot obviously buy equipment that is 5,000 euros. So with IMD and coding and Arduino, you can build something that is almost like that, and that will be a tool that you will really use in your thesis. I think that is something really unique of uh, this school, and that's something 
a great for the pieces. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I, th I think there's one last very important detail, um, and maybe Lauren, you mm -hmm. would, you would like to cover this. Uh, but let's talk assessments. How are our <laughs> students assessed? How do how do we grade them? How do we help them develop and grow? Yeah. So again, that's really um, within the, the courses that you that you take. So if you are a first year student and you are doing image, for example, um, your teacher for the image class will give you a really clear assignment of what's expected and will also uh, give you criteria on which you'll be assessed at the end of that course. And as we have it at the moment, we have four blocks during the year and at the end of every block you have your assessment. So the assessments we also like to do in collaboration with the students so that students also get to learn to give feedback to their peers and that there's a lot of exchange related to the assessments. So that's something new actually for our program and we're really excited for, for what's coming out of that. Um, so assessments four times a year, essentially you get graded on every, well, not graded because we don't have grades. We used to, but we don't anymore. So it's just a, a pass or fail. Uh, we hardly ever fail students. Usually it's a pass because we help you all the way through to get there. And then what we have, which is quite exciting, twice a year, so that's in January and in June, we have collectives which is um, a kind of celebratory moment where we can look back at the, the previous two blocks and we can show all our beautiful work that we've been doing the last two blocks and then have an exhibition together. But that's not an assessment moment as such. So that's actually something also which is really uh, great to do and set up with students and, and teachers together. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, actually yesterday we set up for our collective exhibition, which like I mentioned earlier, you'll be giving uh, a little tour through. So please, like I said, stick around. Uh, thank you very much, Paolo, Shaleen, and, and Lauren. Um, I would like to introduce Mariana, who is going to talk a little bit about a letter studio. Um, enjoy. I'm Marina Shakur. I'm teaching uh, in Letter Studio. I've been a designer for over 20 years. Hello, my name is Einar Viðar Guðmundsson. I'm a third year student here at KBK. I'm from Iceland. So I'm Dagmi and I'm in second year graphic design and I'm from Iceland. I'm also second year and I'm Leon and I'm from Rotterdam. Tell me, what is this class about? Oh, Letter Studio, of course, is about letters. <laughs> <laughs> Calligraphy, lettering, type design, uh, a bit of typography, but mostly uh, understanding how letters are drawn, designed, constructed, uh, and how, therefore, they are used. It's different than typography. I think that's something a lot of people may be confused at first, because you actually design the letter shapes. We have a bunch of different modules that we can choose, so for example, there's one called uh, Revival Type, where you find an old typeface from an old book and then you make renewal of the typeface. Uh, I did one module called Type Cooker, mm -hmm. where I would do a recipe every week. So I got a random recipe that I had to follow. You can make shapes and you can make uh, images, you can make objects, you can make movies, you can make this whatever you would like to do. Yeah. and they are helping you to kind of bring your vision to life. Sort of all modules and all projects, you kind of progress from hand sketching to digital drawing and understanding shapes, understanding context of like uh, historical shapes and how they fit in the modern society and modern designs, but also like how, what are the rules and how to define them. So what's your personal favorite part of the class? Oh, my favorite part of a letter studio or any type design class or any class for that matter is actually to see the progress of the students. I've done letter studio for the third time now uh, after, and after every time I did letter studio I said I'm never doing it again <laughs> and still I'm here. Yeah. Uh, so I guess the progress is my favorite part. I, I think I like uh, making sketches and just generating the ideas. So the, the first part is always really exciting for me. You know, like those aha moments and when they actually look at the work that they've done. It's your part as well because you are teaching. Yeah, we're just there to facilitate, to help, to guide and be there as a mentor. 
but the, the the kudos you know goes to them for sure the middle part is the hardest right yeah. because then you have to make decisions about what you would like to do actually and you kind of have to narrow down what you want to focus on typography and letter making has always been hard for me so i thought like why not challenge myself and then now I'm here for the third time. Just in some crazy ways and your teachers are always there for you, <laughs> cheering you on. It's, it's not always like that though. <laughs> we always try to be yeah. supportive and of, yeah. of course to be, to be encouraging, mm -hmm. but sometimes we do need uh, tough love. Yes. But yeah, most of the students do amazing work. And what have you learned the most out of these classes? Take failure as a learning moment. What I learned is that I'm old. <laughs> now I have like more than doubled at some of their ages and I'm like, okay, I don't get what this is about, <laughs> but I'm going to support you anyway. I think it's the decision making part. You know how they say kill your darlings. Uh, this is exactly what I've learned. Like when I'm too like caught up into something and like, oh, this has to work. Uh, sometimes I just have to, you know, drop it and then start over and just try something else. When you learn this calligraphy, you also learn a lot about how letter shapes are actually constructed. Each student requires a, a different way to learn. Uh, and it's not like this cookie cutter solution that will fit everyone. So be able to be flexible and adapt according to whatever is best for them. Yep, that's it. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed uh, the little bit of information about Letter Studio. Um, I'm very happily joined by four wonderful students. Uh, we have uh, Bella, Abel, um, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, there's a little frog in my throat. I get so excited when I see you guys that I can't talk. Uh, Lara and Elisa. Now, uh, these four wonderful students are going to go into some of their uh, student-led initiatives. Now, before we do that, I would like to talk a little bit more about IST. Uh, Lauren and I chatted about that briefly um, a little bit ago, uh, but I'm really, really happy that Abel and Bella are here because they're also doing an IST project in conjunction with their student-led initiative. Um, and as such, I am the IST coach here in the graphic design department, which means that those lucky few of you that join <laughs> the ranks will eventually get to work with me and all of these wonderful beautiful people uh, but without much further ado would you like to introduce your film initiative and, and uh, how that's been going what the process has been like and how it kind of fits into the context of graphic design here at KBK. Yes. Uh, yes well we start actually beginning of the semester with um, thinking about all the films we wanted to see personally it was just a private conversation we had and we thought maybe we can just watch them together and this grow into this weekly film screening every Wednesday night where we were screening films from different cultures and different artists and from different perspectives. Yeah. yeah. And I think like the whole reason we wanted to start was, yeah, we don't socially interact with people a lot and we don't know the other departments. So we thought maybe if we screen movies, other departments come in, so we get to meet other people, which is also quite new. Yeah. And have you met a lot of people from other departments so far? Actually, yeah. We have this people who come every week, so they are like our main uh, audience. And we didn't know them before, so it's quite fun to have these new friends, actually, mm -hmm. which we didn't know before and also didn't um, know if this didn't happen. So. I think that's quite quite nice. 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 Yeah. And you're also doing this for uh, IST as well. Uh, what has, ha, have I been helpful? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, sure, it's been helpful. Yeah. They can't say no. Yeah. 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 I want my credit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, uh, can you give us like maybe your favorite films that you've screened thus far? One from each of you. You want to start? Um, I would have to say it's the Florida project, mm -hmm. which you can see here. Yeah, it was really nice. But How come? It was just like, I don't know, it was something I would never watch, but it was just such a normal life, everyday life film, which, yes, we can relate to kind of. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I can't really say I have a favorite film actually because I think they're all nice with seeing. But I think my personal favorites were Requiem for a Dream and Film Roma. Yeah, those are good ones. Yeah, I really like those. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, thank you yes. very much for sharing. No problem. Um, so additionally, uh, we have two other students that are doing uh, a wildly different, but also equally as exciting uh, student-led initiative. Um, Laura and Elisa, why don't you take us a, a run through with what you do? And also, I think we're going to have a little workshop live. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little exercise. Yeah, yeah. Well, first, why don't you introduce uh, what it is that, we're, that, that you're doing and then um, we have a dance background, and since we came to Kamekau, we are missing like the body in graphic design, missing moving yes. with people and connecting to the body with people. Mm -hmm. And we understood that a lot of people also has this need. Yeah, it was it was really crazy yeah. because we started thinking about having this kind of space, and then just suddenly in the same week, like people keep kept coming up to us and being like, "Oof, I really I really need to move. I really want to like express." With the body and like move with their people, so it felt like the need was really coming yeah. from the people around us. Yeah. Yeah, and also like this sharing moment because it's a space that we just facilitate the people dance and improvise and bring instruments and different exercises to practice together. Mm -hmm. So it's never a class, a dance class, it's not like this. It's mm -hmm. more space which we can connect our bodies and movement and breathing and sweating together. Nice. Yes. Nice. And how, what was, uh, was it hard for both of, or all of you to set these up? What was the, uh, was it relatively easy? What was that process? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 sure. being the most <laughs> difficult thing ever? The hardest is like getting along. Yeah, the hardest is getting Because is deciding and telling people, like, it's really yeah. easy and people are, and people come. Yeah, and they're really willing to come. Yeah, and participate. Yeah. It goes super fast. Yeah, yeah. super fast. Nice. And also, like, this thing about, connecting different departments and like different practice happens in a really organic way. It's really yeah. nice also. Perfect. Well, are we, are we, should we move? Should we move? Yes. <laughs> nice move. Because the next video is our very own Chantel M. Piotr uh, with Design Office. Please enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh yeah, and uh, we have to make a movie. Yeah. Sure, sure. You can do that. <laughs> I am uh, Piotr de Jong, had an, um, a communication uh, agency for 30 years. I'm uh, Chantal Hendricks, uh, guiding students in uh, design office. It's an uh, elective course for the second and third year students. I also have my own uh, graphic design studio in Amsterdam. I'm Paulina from Poland. I'm on the second year of graphic design. Can you tell me something about the project you did for Design Office? I collaborated with other students on doing suggestions for installation in the entrance area to the Hospital of the Hague, making the entrance area a little bit more interesting. I'm uh, Peter van Vliet. I'm a neurologist intensivist. And I'm here because I'm a member of the art committee of the uh, Haaglander Medical Center. I'm Jose Noordman. Um, I'm a volunteer at the art commission of the Haaglander Medical Center, focusing on the photography uh, expositions in hospitals. We wanted to offer the students the option uh, to get this assignment. A real briefing, a real client, a real budget uh, with a commissioner. On the other hand, they are of course still in education, have to learn how to balance the ideas and wishes of a commissioner with their own uh, idea on graphic design. The, the, yeah. the hospital assignment was not a typical uh, graphic design assignment. It was maybe even more close to an art project yeah. than, yeah, uh, yeah. but there was a lot of freedom to uh, to come up with ideas. And how did that process go? Uh, well, it started off with me giving a presentation just to tell something about what uh, hospital life is like, to create something that offers a sort of healing environment for the patients and their visitors. Three different student groups make different outcomes from that same initial starting point. And now the commissioner um, can have a look at the ideas and then we're going to see technically how to execute it. And that makes it a bit different from other projects in design office because sometimes it's just a publication or it's an animation what has a fixed moment of launch. We had a presentation planned the end of December, but then it was really 
they were not there yet. So uh, then we said, okay, we cancel the presentation. And that was also already for them. A oh my God. So here we fail a little bit. Yeah, it was frustrating sometimes. You sometimes get a feedback that you don't want to hear because at some point somebody's like, hey, maybe you should try something else. And you're like, maybe I should. Yeah, we guide the process. Yeah. So I um, make sure that uh, uh, that I keep to a certain timeline, help them uh, 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 formulate their plans, help them present, to go over the presentation. Sometimes I feel like a soccer mom that we're with our hands tied, shouting uh, to the field like, go, go there, go there. <laughs> like it, it was a very good experience at the end of the day. What did you hope to see in the end result? I don't know what even I expected. I expected to have fun and to be able to actually have an impact and, and say that my name is on this project and it's going to be there and it's going to be standing in the entrance of the hospital for who knows how long. And like I was part of the creative team that designed it. So it would be nice that it's that it's that it's uh, ends up in a real executed uh, uh, installation in the hospital. But on the other hand, I think this process and also yeah. this presentation, they were all nervous and it's totally different than just a school project yeah. when you bring people from the outside. I yeah. think they already learned a lot. Uh, asking for creativ creativity uh, and that is uh, what they delivered. So uh, in that way, they met up to the expectations. I'm gaining this experience right now with Jess in the second year of graphic design. And it's great to just be able to use that and use in, have it in portfolio. And right now in a game making like company, I think they have made a, a wonderful job. Uh, a lot of a lot to think about for us to to see what we have to choose. They really did a lot with the the, the assignment. Yeah, I like it. Well, I hope you get chosen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good. <laughs> And welcome back. I hope by now you are thoroughly sold on applying to the graphic design department. And I'm happy that you are sold because our next section that I'm really uh, excited to discuss with you is admissions. Uh, and with that, I have uh, three wonderful people, two students. I have Matthew over here to my right, Anna, and of course, one of our fabulous tutors, uh, Bart, here. Um, so we actually have a very nice situation because both Anna and Matthew applied to the graphic design department in two different ways. Uh, so Anna, why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, process with the application? How did it go for you? So I applied online because of COVID, so I had to be back home. In, I'm Romania, so I was in Romania during like uh, admissions. I had to do firstly an essay, then I had to do like I had a CV, like the the stuff. Then I had to do a portfolio. After the portfolio, I had a workshop and an assignment after that. So I think that was mainly it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, so you had to go apply online, apply with your CV, do portfolio. There was an, an assignment you said as well? Yeah. Yeah, now you applied in a different manner. Um, yes, uh, yeah. my whole admissions process was offline just because I did prep year here at school last year. So whole last year I was already here uh, taking different classes, getting to know different people and uh, I guess uh, already preparing for the admissions, which were, I think they're quite different if you do prep year uh, to opposite to a normal way of uh, applying. Yeah, thank you. Uh, no, Bart, you're heavily involved in the admission process, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, would you, Maybe walk us through what's, what's it like doing admissions? What are the, some of the things that you look for? Maybe mm -hmm. some questions yeah. that you ask? Well, first of all, it's a very uh, special moment uh, to be part of um, because it often is uh, a very, it's a, a very first time that a candidate talks about their uh, art, artistic work or their visual work in a more professional um, sense. It's very different to talking uh, about a few parents, for example, and I um, have always really enjoyed the sort of that, that kind of seriousness about the about the moment. Um, I enjoy uh, having a fun conversation about work or to try to understand why someone makes the work they they make. And what you also want to try 
and see from that moment or get from that moment is to create um, a, yeah, a sense of openness. Uh, why does someone want to study at this particular academy? Why not at another academy? All these different academies in the Netherlands are so very different and have such a particular focus. So those are things you can yeah, try to um, evoke from a conversation. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Now, um, Anna mentioned uh, a little home assignment. Are you also uh, in charge of, of uh, assigning the uh, what the uh, students potentially would be doing um, during yeah. the application process? Yeah. So this year I work on, I gave my students, which is Matt and Anna and a whole bunch more, uh, an assignment called the 40 assignment and it's 40 short assignments. I asked the students to choose one or two to work on. Mm -hmm. And that's, that became the assignment to, for the candidates to work on at home. And what I like about, about this assignment is that um, you give the student an opportunity to choose, choose something to work on. So you, uh, and I think the ability to decide what you like to do and what you don't like to do is already a very important part of an editing process. Um, and can also give me as a person from the outside an idea of how someone would like to make, would like to make uh, their own uh, program or something. So it shows me who um, I potentially could be working with in the future. And, and also, uh, yeah, uh, there are simple assignments, very straightforward design assignments, but also much more uh, complex ones or that take uh, a whole lot more responsibility or autonomy. So it's interesting to think about that as a, as a kind of a package deal for them to work with. Perfect, perfect. Uh, now we don't have much time left, but if I could get from you three, maybe one tip or one trick uh, to tell all of our potential applicants uh, what to expect or, or how to navigate the admission process. Why don't you start, Matthew? How to navigate uh, through the admission process? Uh, I think the main tip for me would be uh, don't be nervous. Uh, just uh, treat it as something fun, because it is fun. There is no need to be nervous or stressed. Perfect. I think for me, a tip would be like to document the process. Always take pictures of your sketches, the, what you're doing. I think sometimes the process is more important than the outcome. So yeah. Yeah, for sure. Bart, any words from? I'm thinking. Well, I, yeah, well, I like I like talking about why someone likes to make. Why do you like to create something? Mm -hmm. Why is that an important way of expressing? To talk about that and answer about that, uh, an answer to that question can give me, yeah, kind of a sense of a passion. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you very, very much. Uh, I hope all of you at home uh, got most of your questions answered throughout the live stream and also about admissions right now. Um, we are going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to be moving on to our Q&A session. I know most of you have been asking questions live in the chat. Um, but now I would like to introduce uh, Lauren and Chantel and Maritz and Ingrid, the matriarchy of the graphic design department, to enter the scene and help us uh, discuss some of these questions and answers. Thank you very much, Matthew and yeah. Bart. Enjoy your days. Yeah, you too. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a nice transition for this, so you're just going to have to watch us exit and enter the scene. And here we are. <laughs> Okay, so we have been very uh, fiercely following your questions online. Um, we see a lot of questions coming in, so thanks very much for, for sending in your questions. I have published uh, some, but we're kind of just uh, running behind here. So I'm going to ask some of the questions to the team and we'll be able to answer them just live for you. Um, okay, a good one that's come in so far, I think, is how much contact time, like the teaching time, uh, do students experience when they arrive in their first year? Um, so maybe Ingrid, that's a good one for you. Uh, I think in the first year, you, we, 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 we just started this year with a new program and in the mornings you have classes. So from nine till one, you have classes at the academy. Uh, uh, if Corona doesn't uh, 
is the party pooper, eh, as we say. <laughs> so, uh, but normally you have class from nine to one on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And in the afternoons you have self-study, so you can work on the assignments together in groups. And uh, in the coming half year, uh, and then so when you are coming, you also have some guidance in the afternoon. Uh, on Wednesday, you have research and discourse, which is an academy-wide program, and uh, with, in which you learn uh, uh, about theory. It's a theoretical course. Um, I think this is very small. The the con uh, about the contact hours. Yeah. So you, more or less, you are uh, busy with the program uh, the whole week. Only half of the time you have the have contact hours. Yeah, great. Um, there are some also general questions about uh, coming to study in The Hague. Um, for example, how do I find funding to support my studies? Um, I wondered if Ingrid, I think you're the, the one to answer that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Well, there is not much funding, I have to say. So this is this makes it really hard. We do have the Holland scholarship actually. But then you have to be admitted uh, before the 1st of May or in the in the start. Uh, yeah, before the 1st of May. So some of our students got it because they uh, they were in time. So this is something you have to work out. And uh, if you if you if, if you are uh, if this could be could be a fund for you, uh, get in touch with me and uh, we'll see what we can do. But the people who are already uh, applying for the first uh, admission, which is actually next week, for sure, if you are admitted uh, and you uh, you are uh, you can apply for this fund, do it, and um, I'm happy to help. Cool, um, Chantal. There are a lot of questions about software. Like, do I need to be an expert in Adobe software before I come to your school? What do I need to know when I'm at your school? Uh, what kind of skills and that kind of thing. Do you have any advice? Uh, yeah, it's always good. I think personally, uh, and I thought it's also good to learn a lot of, um, uh, you can online learn a lot to get acquainted with it, because I think it is good that you get acquainted with uh, software, but of course not only Adobe, there's more, there's also uh, open software uh, so you can use, because we also look into if you develop your own interest in software, not only focus, on uh, Adobe, but also, of course, for certain some uh, lessons in our program, we uh, for what you need it, a uh, certain program we help out or make sure there's extra uh, tutorials to to, uh, to look into that. Yeah, cool. Maybe this is also a question from you. It's from Anonymous. Okay. <laughs> okay Most of the yeah. questions are. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, this person is asking, um, how much do we focus on communication as important in the program compared to abstract graphic design? What they're asking, do you put a lot the of the importance uh, on abstract graphic design or communication as aspect of graphic design? I think that's really at our department uh, equal because one influence is the other. You can discuss what is communication. And I think we are really in an advanced program that we see communication as a different little abstract things are also communicating. So that's what we really focus on and train the students on, on how to communicate what you're visually creating. So it's really a new, a different dialogue. Yeah. Maybe also the poetic qualities of the yeah, work of the also, artistic um, practice come into that. There's another question which is quite uh, connected. Um, so do you encourage interdisciplinarity? Absolutely. I yeah. think that's also really embedded at the moment uh, in our program. And also what you said in the beginning, it's that all the tutors uh, work in a professional field as well. And they uh, bring that experience really immediately in um, the content of our program, and that also means that in multidisciplinary work and interdisciplinary work is part of everybody's profession at this uh, nowadays. So that's you can assume that's really uh, in our program, and we also yeah. uh, promote this. Yeah, maybe um, a little bit later we could put a link to our graduation exhibitions yeah. in the past because the graduation exhibition in the fourth year brings really together all yeah. the disciplines into the projects that the students are, are making. Okay, I want to turn to Marit. 
uh, admissions. Uh, there are some questions about admissions related to how much time uh, the students get for their feedback at admissions and also if there's an opportunity to get a bit of feedback before the admission process on the portfolio. Yes, well, uh, the procedure goes as, as follows. Um, you uh, so hand in your portfolio and the motivation letter. First tutors will have a look at this and this is the, the first round. If they think, well, the work is really good already and your motivation is right, then you will continue to the uh, interviews itself. Now we do these online. Um, and I think during the talk, you first present your work. It doesn't have to be everything that's in the portfolio. It can also be newer, newer work or um, the assignment that you've been given and after that uh, yeah tutors start asking questions so I think in that moment they already give feedback yeah. on the questions that they are asking you and after that they will make up their mind they will make a decision on if you get admitted or not uh, if not you will get feedback um, if you would like to have more feedback you can always email us because tutors write uh, yeah a short uh, notes yeah, on exactly. why they think you yeah. are admitted or not. So you can always email us and ask like, OK, yeah, I didn't really understand it. Can I hear more? Yeah, that's totally fine. So yeah, yes, there are certain a lot of feedback moments. And a short question. Can I do my interview online? Yeah, all right. interviews are online. All at the interviews moment. are yes. online. OK, yes. Maria, that so, answers your yes. question. <laughs> all of them are online. Don't worry about that. If you're not in the Netherlands, that's perfect. Um, OK, more questions about typography. How much do you focus on typographic? Is there room for more conceptual projects which focus on society? It's a bit the same it's as the, the last same. question. It's really embedded, but of course we have uh, amazing tutors uh, for typography, but also within the typography assignments, editorial um, uh, elements are there. So in that sense, you can always combine uh, other, uh, relate to real content or other content in using typography. It's like the real word. <laughs> yeah. You use typography to express, express your opinion or meaning, and that's what we focus on. OK, now some questions about the workshops. Uh, do we get experience workshops? OK, I'm not sure what that means exactly, but I guess we can say a bit about workshops in general, which workshops there are. So we have can we remember all of them? There are many. Wood yeah. workshop, metal workshop, uh, textile workshop, textile, yes. silk screen workshop, mm -hmm. Photo photography, studios. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. studios, yeah. green screen, uh, yeah. 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 ceramics, yeah. 3D. Yeah. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, laser cutting, laser yeah. Cutting. Yeah. yeah, printing workshop. Very interesting. Yeah. Printing, of course, computer workshop. Yeah, uh, a lot. We have silk screen many workshops. workshops. Wait, yes, silk screen. Yeah, and if we have like slightly difficult machinery, like the metal workshop, you get a training, right? When yeah, you arrive yeah. as a new student. Mm -hmm. And, and ceramic workshops. Yes, ceramics, yes. yeah. Let's not forget that one. Yeah. I think the oh, yeah. KBK has a really amazing uh, facilities on workshops. Yeah. yeah. All also with really good instructors yeah. who can help you to develop your project and uh, think along with you. So that's really great. Yeah. Yes. Great instructions. Yeah. Instructors. Yeah. Very good to be saying this. Well, these questions are streaming in. I can't keep up. Um, is it a problem to apply in the last days before the deadline? Is it possible that all the study spots are taken? So maybe something about the deadlines that we have until now? The deadline is the deadline. We start the procedure after the deadline. So if you want to hand it in in the last very last minute, that's fine. Yeah. And and don't worry about the, uh, in the also in the last admission, we also have, have space for to, to uh, admit students. Yeah. So it's not like uh, we, we, we get everybody in and no. the last one is just a fake one. Mm -hmm. OK, this uh, anonymous has heard that there is a huge workload at our department. Uh, oh. That's mm -hmm. from past students. Uh, is it still the case in our graphic design department? I think you should answer this one. Oh, yes. yes? OK, yeah. um, well, we've been trying very hard to address this issue. Um, and that's also, as Ingrid mentioned earlier, we have now the self-study uh, time 
for students in the afternoon. So from one until five, six or whenever you want to, to work. Uh, we have self-study time and we also have now from next block, we're going to have study assistance to, to help you and give feedback in the afternoons during your self-study time. Um, and by doing this, by implementing the self-study time, that means that um, it's, you don't have classes all day long. So you do have classes in the morning, but then you have time to work on those classes in the afternoon. And previously at the Kabeka, that was not the case. And students did have to work long hours and on the weekend to keep up with all the courses. So I hope, Anonymous, that that answers your question. We are doing our very best <laughs> to make things manageable in the study and that uh, we can do and get as much done uh, in the class that time. And enjoyable, that it's enjoyable yeah. to work, so to uh, um, have less of this uh, heavy workload to, to combine uh, the lessons with the self-study hours and the guidance in it, that it really becomes one uh, unity on a day. You are here the whole day and you learn, you work, you play. And a little shout out to uh, Fusun, who's also asking a question. Oh. <laughs> the, three, the 3D studios um, are great at Kabeka. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 so sure. you know, yeah, yeah. For sure. Thank you, uh, Fusun. Fusun is teaching in the fourth year. Yeah, she's Fusun now is an amazing uh, working on the thesis. So yeah, thesis yes. tutor. Yeah. OK, so a uh, little bit more questions about the schedule. How much time do we have, actually? Uh, I think um, Three more minutes. Oh, OK. Um, so maybe a last or a second last question. Uh, question about the schedule in the first year we spoke about, but how is it in the upcoming years, I guess, second, third year? Is it still four days per week at the academy? Is it more flexible? It might be nice that uh, Alex yeah. tell something about the Wednesdays. Ah, yes, tea days. I would love to talk about Wednesdays. Actually, I, I, I think I could also maybe uh, go back to the workshop question as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, because so every Wednesday is uh, IST day, uh, academy wide. And like I mentioned before, years two and three do have ISTs. So every Wednesday, um, uh, every semester, you sign up for an IST lab. Um, and these IST labs change per semester. Some of them are really intense within a workshop, like a hack lab or 3D printing or book binding. Others are more theoretical, uh, like uh, like a research course um, or something a little bit more playful, like LARPing even we had an IST about, which was pretty fantastic. Um, in addition to that, you can also uh, do your own study, your own self-initiated thing. And I think maybe also this touches on the previous question about um, typographic versus more abstract concepts or more societal uh, based projects. And really Wednesdays are your days to fully investigate those interests and curiosities yeah. that, that you have. Uh, so even things that maybe that you're looking for that maybe you can't really locate within a type uh, design class because you're like drawing letters all day, um, then on Wednesdays, that's that's your day to to investigate the history of, of a typeface. Um, did I, what was the question? I'm sorry, I forgot the question. Yeah, so the question, the question was from uh, Martina, who yeah. was asking, uh, do you have, like in the first year, you have classes four days a week, right? Yes. So half yeah. days in the morning, but then in second, third year, fourth year, how does that change? Oh, yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you also for repeating the question. I got distracted. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, second and third years are, yeah, there's classes Monday through Thursday, so. Friday. Uh, Friday, Friday, Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so five days, five days a week. Wednesdays being your IST day. So technically, no classes are happening on Wednesdays besides your IST labs. Um, and like Lauren mentioned, you have classes in the morning, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and the afternoons are free. Uh, years two and three follow that same schedule as well. But too. they have also the elective courses. Certainly, you. Uh, I have now four uh, different elective courses which you can choose per block, which is really nice to deepen out a certain uh, area field of uh, interest. And yeah. these courses are? Yeah. Design office, of course, <laughs> Letter Studio, where you uh, dive into uh, designing uh, typefaces, which is a very nice course. We have a Design Inquiry Group, which investigates all kinds of topics in uh, all. Uh, now you can follow them also, they're also broadcasting, yeah. broadcasting, which is a very nice free program. 
And we have now also a moving image, which is really nice with the focus on film and how to deal with all kinds of inputs and material and make a create moving image with it. I, 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 I do think uh, we have to stress that one of the most important things within our departments also the research uh, mm. we, we you are you are learning to research and think for yourself from year one till year four and i yeah. think this is also one of our unique selling points of the department yeah absolutely yeah. so to get back to martina it's a full-time study yes um, full -time. we do have afternoons for the self-study which mm -hmm. is a new thing and also creates a little bit of yeah space for the student but Nonetheless, it's a full-time study, so definitely four days a week courses with the one day IST. Mm -hmm. And then in the fourth year, it is a little bit more flexible in the sense that you need to sign up to speak to the teachers in the second semester. Um, but still, we expect that it's a full-time study plus the thesis writing, again, yeah. going back to the research side of the Yeah, but the, study. but the research is also embedded into the practical subjects. Yep. Yeah. I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's one, really one of the strong points of the program. Nice. Well then, one yeah. more, are, are we? Can we do one more, please? Um, um, oh, then I have to choose a goodie. Yeah, you have to choose a goodie. Um, I'm not sure if there's a sound problem. Um, what do you think? Um, oh no, give me a second. Yes, um, we will give you a yeah, second. We'll give you a second. <laughs> uh, in the meantime. There are lots of questions about the portfolio. Uh, how, what do you need to include? Maybe that's a nice one. That's like a some, good one. some tips for what to include in your portfolio. Yeah, or what we can you also, it's good to stay tuned um, because students will take a laptop and guide you through the exhibition we made here with uh, all the second and third years. There, we set up an exhibition to go through and you can see the work, uh, what they've been up to, to uh, the last half year. Mm -hmm. I think that it's also good to see um, to reflect on what kind of work is made to refer on also for your portfolio. I think for the portfolio in general, you could say be as diverse as possible, show a personality, personal interests are very important that because we don't see you in first time, eh? if we see you, uh, we, uh, we get acquainted with your work first, that we see a person with an opinion, with ideas on, on uh, your surroundings or what you're uh, interested in, um, that we really feel that there's someone with uh, a character and an opinion um, underneath all this work. And as broader it is, it's the nicer you can adapt to different um, uh, courses, of course. Yeah. Uh, and in the beginning of March, we have uh, the possibility yeah. for you all to have get Whoa. some feedback from our tutors. Yes. We will get back to that uh, very soon. Yeah, yeah, we will have portfolio reviews online with yeah. the tutors and students. Uh, I think also important to mention in the portfolio show the process of the works that you made, so not only the end results, yeah. um, which can be sometimes even more interesting than the end result. Mm -hmm. So definitely, definitely. Yes. great. Um, Did you find you one know? last question or? Uh, oh, that was my last question oh, about yeah, portfolio. Ah, yeah, okay, that's a, that's a good one. Okay, that was that's a really that's good a great one. one. Yeah. But do we have to say one last thing about coding, which would? I also, be, so, yes. as a unique selling point, you have to realize that coding and IMD is a really important part of this program and you start already in year four, it goes through the four years and uh, it also is very important for, uh, your, for the professional field where you're going to work in when you finish the school, but maybe, maybe you or no. Yeah, there was something? actually a question which we published earlier asking like why is it important for graphic designers to learn coding? So I think there are lots of different reasons for that. I mean, it also helps you to produce your, your work, right? To even in the Letter Studio course, there's also you learn how to use Python so that you can uh, manage like uh, moving typography and, you know, like uh, transitions in typography and so on. So you, it also helps you like with coding, it helps you in the other subjects as well. Um, and also we noticed with our alumni, if they have coding in their pocket, they also have loads more opportunities to apply for more jobs. So it just really broadens your horizons and it's not only that you can use it in your design work, but also you can um, apply that after your studies in, in multiple different ways. If you are interested in our coding tutors, we are mm -hmm. having the double practice lecture okay. series. Uh, follow us on Instagram for that. Uh, we have two more coming up. Uh, the first one, I think, of those two is next week already. Yeah, it's on so, the 3rd of February yeah. and then 
second of February. Second, second of February. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it's on, it's on our it's Instagram. The so. February, and also the 15th. <laughs> you can also and find the link to it. Fabulous the... backstage manager, Martin De Gere, will be sharing his work and his yeah. coding classes with us. So that's really yes. awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I thanks. Think, well, Have we yeah. reached the end? I think, no I way. think we've reached Already? not I think we've reached the end of us, but not oh. the end oh. of the live stream. Yes. Okay. Because we still have tours for you. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Uh, thank thank everyone. Thank you for joining. Please stick around. Also, yes. thank you, Martin, our, our producer yeah. manager behind the camera, and the wonderful Donna Von Vest who produced and recorded the uh, videos that you saw all throughout the day. Um, thank yeah. you, Donna. Thanks, thank you. Donna. Thanks, Donna. Donna. Thanks, Donna. Donna. Also studied here, yeah. so that's I think also really fun fact awesome. to mention. Yeah. Yes. Facts. Hey, Alex. Thank you too for yeah. being our fantastic yeah. host. Yeah, your fantastic host. Yeah. My With pleasure. Beautiful yes. jacket. Yeah. yeah. And your great caps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay. Yeah, we will move to the to the SFF, through the yeah. exhibition here at the department. So you will also have uh, a view on what it's looking like here. My name is Sonia. I'm a second year uh, graphic design student and I'm going to show you our works because now we have a collective exhibition that is happening um, in the end of uh, every semester and um, we exhibit our works and it's actually very fun because um, you can just see everything, all these amazing things that people are doing. And so I'm going to start in this room. We have this very cool um, glass uh, classrooms that we call aquariums <laughs> sometimes. So yeah, this is what we have here. Um, as you can see, we have a huge variety of works because um, even though we study graphic design, it doesn't mean that we should only stick to like posters, um, books or whatever. We also work a lot with the textiles. For example, this is, I think, the work of a, a third year a student. And here you can see this nice scarf with a, um, some other pieces of fabric attached to it. And this is the work of my super talented classmate. And he made this tapestry and he did it all um, by himself. And maybe I can show you also a little bit of my work. Um, so this is the costume that I made for the image class and I really worked a lot with the fabrics as well. I did echo printing here. As you can see, I did a sublimation printing here. I made this all masks with the actual leaves and it was a very fun uh, process um, because, you know, like I never worked with this kind of materials and it's very cool that in this school, we can do whatever we want and we are completely free um, to work in any kind of media we want and try new things. And this is also a work of my classmate. She worked with a, a 3D uh, printing. And so she made these amazing sculptures because yeah, we have a lot of uh, different workshops that you can uh, do whatever. We have a textile uh, 3D lab, um, metal workshop, wood workshop, any kind of stuff you want. And these are the posters um, that are showing the typefaces that we made in a letter studio block. So this is the block where we obviously making letters. Um, and so we ended up uh, creating um, uh, different fonts and we had just uh, two months for it. But look how amazing uh, the works are. And these posters are printed with a, in a silk screen workshop. Um, as you can see, yeah, and this one, uh, she made it an illustrator somehow. I don't know, it looks very cool, like it's a proper 3D thing. But yeah. Um, what else can I show you? I think, oh, yes, also we have some movies here. Okay, and this is my classmate dance. Hello. Hello. Maybe you want to say something about our department? Uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go through half of it? Yeah, I went through cool. a little bit more or less. 
Yeah, and also one another crazy thing I forgot to show you, but I just think that it's pretty cool. This is um, kombucha in the Scoobies that my other classmate was growing. And um, I once made a work where I made a book cover out of kombucha material. So, you know, um, should we maybe go walk around school and show you the corridors? A little bit so yeah here we have our lockers as you can see they're very creatively <laughs> decorated um, um yeah the corridors i guess is the the best place and i guess the <laughs> the place that really um <clears throat> that shows the department and you can really identify it by it because we're the did you tell about the glass, the, uh, the glass yeah that they would call them aquariums <laughs> yeah say that. yeah but it's it's yeah. the base it's the place in the school with the with the best light mm -hmm. and that's really really useful and really feels great yeah. especially if it's cloudy outside yeah exactly like look at this amazing view like it really it doesn't matter how bad the weather is and like it's raining sometimes quite often and it's cloudy <laughs> but you know it still looks crazy and you know it's just nice to be here um also, yeah, what else? I don't know, I can maybe show you um, toilets if you want, because this is also a part of it. Um, well, we have, uh, oh, sorry, it's so messy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's show that room more, I guess. Yeah, okay, I can maybe bring you back to that other room so you can see more works. And the view from here as well. Um, this is actually a funny place to be because you can see another building and you can see people walking through the corridors. And I think there we have fine art studios and you can see this painting standing in the corridor. And this is also very fun. Um, yeah, but maybe I think it's time to move to another room. And I think I'm gonna pass you to my uh, friends from the third year and they're gonna show you around their exhibition space because we have a lot of uh, classrooms here. Oh, oh you are the teachers. This is Bart, you've maybe seen Hi. some of those. Hello Chantal, hello, hello Ingrid. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is in the office. Abel, maybe you want to take over? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good, good afternoon. <laughs> I'm Abel. I'm Alex, and we're both from the third year uh, graphic design. Yes. And we'll be showing you through the department. Yes. Um, <laughs> should we first go to this classroom? Because yeah. I think that will be very nice and then we can go to another classroom of course <laughs> so as you just saw at Sonia's she described a little bit what uh, what we are doing right now and how it looks like and what does it is that we work with graphic design but it's not like all like static we also work with fabric and with video and um, for example you can see a lot of typefaces here and people here love to make typefaces of course and um, so you can see a lot of these collections of we've done of photographs Mm, I think most of this class is based on typography and um, we have this elective here at Skabek at the graphic design department which you just heard about in the live stream um, where you're going to make uh, letters, letter studio. Yeah, and so you learn all about the shapes of letters, um, how to make them uniform, how to develop a typeface and yeah, you make plenty of sketches till you so you get to a final typeface. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Which you can use. Yes, in and it's works. yeah, it's very nice to see how people inter or like um, adjust their typeface to books and posters and videos and what else is there more. Um, maybe we should show a little bit of the overview of this classroom. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna take the laptop or okay? Nice. <laughs> you go. <Cool>. Yes. <laughs> um, for example, we have this. I'm not gonna touch it, but I think I know it's very nice. We have this student. It's also a third year student, it's called, he's called Sam and he made this typeface adjustable and you can, I'm going to try to, when you touch this piano, it's 
adjusting the typeface. So this is really cool. And you can see the, cha the changes within the typeface when it's changing from thickness or um, the width, which is really, really cool. Um, and what else do we have? We also have a lot of posters hang hanging around here and publications. Um, yeah, I think those were actually made in our soft screen department. Yeah. Um, which you can also get help from all the uh, professionals working there. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes you make mistakes, but that's part of the fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, maybe let's look at some publications. Yeah, should I open a few? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I think this is a nice one. I like the size of this booklet. Do you see it? Correct? Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, it's a very nice color. I think it's made with writer printing, which we have here at the uh, Academy, and people love to do it. I mean, who doesn't? Look at all those nice images and what people yeah. made. I think it's really cool. Also, this is something I think is really cool. Yeah, this, this might have been made in the com color. Yeah, this also, Which yeah. is also um, oh. some sort of riso printing. Yeah, you can make really nice color combinations with this printing technique. Technique. Yeah. Um. What else is here? Let's see. Oh, we. I saw there's a very nice setup here with video and with photographs and materials. The video is just about to start right now, so you can see what it's all about. <laughs> it's about rituals. Yeah. And so. As you can see, we don't just uh, do posters and um, letters. No, it's <laughs> it gets very. We make installations. Yeah. There's audiovisual things. And yeah, and I think it's. I think this is like one of the main reasons I went here. Maybe that's. I, I think it's really nice that you can work with whatever you want, want to work with instead of just like static posters or books. It's it's just so what the it's. Wild, actually, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. And I, I enjoy this very much. Uh, maybe we can go to in our classroom to yeah. see what else is there. Let's go for that. Yes. So this is our hallway, <laughs> connecting with classrooms. Is the room ready for us? Can we come film here? Yeah. So here's our live stream happening as well. <laughs> There's also work installed here. Let's take a look at what we've seen so far. Yes, this. some more letters, um, more posters, more installation. Okay. Backstage. <laughs> Come say hi to uh, <laughs> the live stream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe we can answer questions. If oh. you have any. Yeah, oh, is, is there a question we could answer maybe? Um, uh, wait, can you just say, do you want to continue with it? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, we'll come back. Um, Let's look at these. Oh, yeah, oh, this is typeface nice. books, I think. Books, I think. Let's see what's. Oh yeah, I think this is made by Le oh Luna. Luna is a student of is a friend of ours, so that's really nice to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, this was probably developed in Letter Studio. Yeah. Um, yeah. So after you develop your typeface, you make um, you showcase the letters you've made. Let's see what else is here because there are really nice books. I've never seen these actually. <laughs> Yeah, this is a nice way to yeah. see everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get to know each other a little bit better. <laughs> oh, this is very lovely. I would like to use this typeface. <laughs> also, this work, I think this is very wonderful. I know this is about um, nostalgia and roots. And I know this person or the student made this project about her childhood, um, well, place, uh, toys. So, and it's made with laser cutting plastic and wood. And it just seems so like I think maybe it's not possible to see on the screen, but it's so shiny. I love it. Yeah, and this was also made, uh, I think, in the laser color, yeah. which we have mm -hmm. in the uh, metal workshop. Yes, really nice to use to work with. And this door is closed, so we can go back to the <laughs> There's 
also another nice feature. Oh, this is also cool. Post colonialism and identity. Oh, it's a whole research booklet. Nice. Um, Where else are we going, Abel? Yeah, I think we should go do another classroom right now to see what else is there. Okay, we're gonna go back to the hallway and go to around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Abel. Yeah. Why did you decide to um, come to KBK? Oh, um, out of all the universities out there in the world. Yeah, out of okay. This is a okay. I think my main reason to come here was I think the education system they have here, or like the knowledge in typography, which I was very interested in. So I thought this is my main reason to come here, and also I just very much like the energy here on the open day and to see what happens everywhere here in the academy. Um, we can go to the last classroom. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much my reason. What is what's your reason to come here? Um, well, I came here actually for the preparatory year. Oh, what's oh prep year? Yeah. Um, yeah, because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. and during the prep year, I discovered that I actually really loved graphic design. Yeah. Oh, that's and fun. Oh, then, yeah. You didn't know that before you wanted to do that? No. Oh, really? No, oh, so, so I cool. found out here in the academy that I wanted to do graphic design yeah. and I got into the, the course. You and got sucked in. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> nice. And here I am. Yeah, cool. Enjoying it? <laughs> of course. OK, cool. That's <laughs> nice to hear. Oh, I like this big video with the side faces. Yeah, and this is actually displayed in The Hague. Oh, for real? Yeah, oh, I don't so know nice. if you guys can see very well. Oh, I didn't know. Um, quite cool, actually. But yeah, I think this is from Yim from second year, mm -hmm. um, who made this whole type animation about, I think it's an event. And uh, yeah, now it's displayed around The Hague, which I think is such a cool opportunity to yeah. still work uh, around is, uh, the city. That's a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What else do we have here? Oh, look at that. Here, I think we should show this to the people. This is very nice. Sorry, guys. Look at these colors and this. I don't know, is it called carpets? I don't yeah, it's a carpet. Oh, nice. So, we also have a tufting workshop. And, um, I, do, okay, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we have a tufting workshop, and uh, you can make carpets there and all sorts of textiles. And actually, a lot of us use. Um, Use the fashion department yeah. to to do a lot of our projects in. Oh, have you done this before? I actually have. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's very nice. I always wanted to do this, but I've never done this. This will be my. This, I think this is my sign to work on this. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to try it out. Yeah. Um. Let's see what else is here. There's more types, type bases here. And also, I think it's a snake. I think it's a snake from Adam and Eve. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> oh, Ooh. some more type bases. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that poster there. This is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we also um, work with 3D um, software, such as Blender and Cinema 4D. And people go crazy with this and make the most amazing stuff. I'm yeah. always so like flabbergasted when I see this stuff. I'm always like, whoa, this is so nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Really cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So we. So there's. Uh, yeah. Whole the whole process. Yeah. Of the typeface. Yeah, it's really nice. And the final poster. Let's see if there's something here. Oh yeah, it's also cool. More time. <laughs> More time. Oh, and photography. Yeah, some photography work. Maybe you can go through the yeah, again. publication. I think this is made by Lois. I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, cool. Pretty sure it's uh, Lois. Oh, this is a nice booklet. Very nice photograph as well. Yeah, what I think when I look at this right now, I think it's really nice because we're studying graphic design, but you're not doing only graphic design. It's, yeah. 
I you're really free. Really What's nice, great yeah. about the graphic design department here is that you can do so many things. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's, uh, it's it's very like very well. Very broad. broad. Yeah, yeah. Broad. yeah. It's not like you're doing letters, even though we've seen a lot of letters. I'm still interested in them after <laughs> seeing them after uh, after all of these these years. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's really cool yeah. that you can do so many things and that you have the facilities to yeah to to use. Yeah, I'm glad they help us. Yeah. Um, what else? Maybe we should um, hand over. Um, we can do that, I think. Yeah. Um, maybe we can walk through the side of the room so we can see a little bit more. But I think it's better to show with uh, to give the screen to the next people so they can talk about their works and their interests in their education. Yeah. Nice drawing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's also nice about our department is that we have so many uh, windows. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's basically a window. Yeah. You see everything. There's no, yeah. no real walls, <laughs> just windows. Yeah. So all the light gets in. Yeah, that's very, very nice. <laughs> I always hear other students like, I'm so jealous of your of your of your building because it's so nice, it's so many windows. <laughs> yeah, we got lucky. Yeah, we were blessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, cool. We're gonna get. We're gonna give you over to the to the police. No, to the next <laughs> person. We hope you had a fun day with us, or fifteen minutes actually. It's not quite a day, and we hope that we could give you a nice overview of the department by third year students, Alex and Abel. Yeah. Over and to the first years. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Hi. Hello. So first years taking over. Patty uh, and Mati. Uh, Hi. Oh wow. Okay. Wait. Are the speakers muted? Why? Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Hi. Okay. This is Domo and Shati. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. First year students. Okay. So maybe we could start first by answering some questions we saw in the chat. So one of them was: Was it difficult to follow classes during lockdown? And personally. I think the academy is doing its best, like not to make it too difficult of an experience. And also like they try to like make it count as practical education so that we can actually show up to school and like do our work here. Because yeah, it takes away a lot from the studies where you have to be at home all the time and can't really ask questions and participate properly. So for me personally, it wasn't. What do you think? What was the question again? Was it difficult to follow classes during lockdown? Um, I think we never experienced like full yeah. online classes. It was always mixed and I think uh, yeah. the academy always uh, tries its best to some sort of uh, hybrid between offline and online classes. Uh, obviously, it's harder to follow uh, online classes, but I think it's uh, manageable here. Yeah, because it's definitely. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a very practical school, so we do a lot of yeah. uh, stuff by hands. Uh, we're walking into this classroom right now. We're going to show you the exhibitions. Of our students of our lovely department. Another question, Mati, I have for you. Yes. Is did why did you pick KBK compared to any other art academy? OK. Uh, I don't know if I'm the best person to answer this question uh, because for me it was more of like. Uh, uh, hmm. I didn't do that much research to be honest and I maybe somebody can relate to this uh, and I kind of decided to do the prep year uh, just to maybe get going and see what I really want to study later and it turns out that I really like the school and I just uh, stayed here in the graphic design department. Nice. So, what about you, Patty? Well, for me, I think like because we both did prep year and. Yeah, I think I just chose it 
prior to doing a bachelor because I didn't really know where I was standing a year ago. And after doing the internship, like the six week internship in the graphic design department, I can say it was like the the choice to make for me because I think like this school is also not really like compared to other schools. I think like the approach to graphic design might be kind of like commercial and this school is like very politically based and like this kind of like I don't know. I feel like the practice fits my way of working also way better and I think it's just like very like driven compared to like I don't know other schools that are just like produce 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 and I don't know. But also I think you have a lot of freedom. Yeah, you have a lot of freedom and the teachers are here to help you get better and not like for you to please the teachers. So I think, yeah, you can just really, really grow as a designer here. So yeah, I think that was like one of the reasons why we decided to stay here and continue our studies here. Yeah. And the last question. Yeah. And then maybe you can show some of the uh, exhibition stuff that's going on in here. I don't know uh, if you've seen this before, but uh, some really cool stuff here. I think this is uh, mixed work. It's both from second year, third year students, yeah. and uh, just different types of publications, uh, prints. Uh, yeah. yeah. So what's the final question? Uh, do you think the program is more theoretical or practical? Uh, I think it's more. It's hmm. work. Like it, it's a mix between the two, but yeah. I think it's uh, about uh, learning by doing. So yeah. it's never really just theory. It's yeah. mostly uh, learning by doing, which is yeah. way more fun, I think. And I think personally for me, I think it's more practical than theoretical because of course we have theory classes but what i think is like it's there for you to expand your frame of references so that you can like see what other artists do and maybe try out their method for like your own things and your own projects or like see what's been done in a topic you're researching and i don't know it's just like a lot of experimentation i Should think yeah let's go in here yeah i think it's also nice to say that uh Really, most of the teachers are uh, professionals in a way, so uh, they they work in this. Yeah, they're like uh, they're not only teachers; they're yeah, artists. So like they they're professionals, so they they know what they're talking yeah, about, and and they're doing that stuff yeah. all the time. So like I think we have also like a great example set by teachers on what to do and yeah, how just to approach the the things we learn here. I feel like maybe you. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you want to say something for the live stream? Oh, we'll be on the live stream. Oh, you're okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Just wait. Okay. Stay tuned. So you continued. Yeah. Okay. So continuing to the exhibitions, you can see also that the graphic design can be you know, the only like printed materials. Yeah, but also you like, can see like textile the, yeah. and like yeah, it's, it's never like, never one category. Yeah, it's never one category, and also like, you know, if you're a fan of illustration and you're thinking like, I don't know, maybe there isn't like an illustration class in this school, but you know, you can do anything you want in here, and if you want to push through with illustration, like go for it, because it's like your own kind of career choice, and then you can like, I don't know, like just implement it into your own projects. So it doesn't really have to be like strict to what you learn at the school, but also like, you know, just have fun with it and do whatever you want. And the teachers are here to help you find your own way. So yeah. Maybe I agree. we can yeah, maybe we can check in for some more questions actually. Should we do that? Yeah. Let's nice. see, because it's a pity that we don't see like your questions here. So we could answer them right away, but yeah. Everybody is running around yeah. trying to pull this open day together. Yeah. I think it's going well. Working really hard. Hi. Sort of parts of the exhibitions. 
Hi. Questions. Yeah. Are you still yeah, yeah, we're still live. Maybe we can get some more questions, don't no, sir. Yeah, I, I thought they sort of stopped coming in for a bit. Oh. Um, there are a lot of questions about admission. Mm. Okay. So, hey, what do I need to um, submit? Yeah. So, it's a motivation letter. Yeah. Your... yeah. Hey, guys. I've been looking out for your questions. Um, please do send them if you still have. For those who want to apply, um, there's all the information actually on our website, so you'll find all the details there. Uh, the main things are the motivation letter, the portfolio that you submit, and then after that you have an interview. So yeah. the, that's like the basics of the information that yeah. you need to know. And, and then, I think it's probably too early to tell if it's going to be in person or online this year, or do you already know if it's going to no, be all online? all the interviews will be online. Okay, yeah. so all the interviews will be online, and that's like the second part of the admissions, because yeah. So just to like repeat, first you have to send the motivation letter and portfolio, and then you're going to have an interview and elaborate on those two things, kind of. Right? Yeah. That's perfect. Is there any other questions, maybe? Um, well, there's just one that's coming from Greta, who says, what would you consider the cons and the, well, well the cons, actually. She doesn't ask for the... The pros. The pros. <laughs> 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 of this university. Oh, dear. Uh, do we have a dark side? The university yeah. probably might, but I don't experience it in this department. I feel like even with, like, I don't know, like a switch in teachers and like the organization kind of changing. I feel like it's been managed pretty well throughout this whole year. Like I haven't seen any glitch in the system. And yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say there's any cons. What do you, what do you add to this? Uh, it's a very good question. Uh, I mean, definitely you can find some cons. Uh, if I have to think about it right now, I don't. I don't know what to say. That's brilliant, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Cut. No, I think maybe if, if, if students have like specific expectations of the study, for yeah. example, I really want to go there and I want to get uh, to know how to use software step yeah. by step. We don't offer tutorial based education, yeah. so it's something that that's quite particular. Maybe yeah. if a student expects that, yeah. then they could get a bit disappointed. Yeah. Um, you are also expected to to research on quite a high level yeah. to to read yeah. uh, to be able to interpret texts um, even from the first year. Uh, maybe maybe you guys could say something about the theory program in the first year. How you've experienced that so far? Well, honestly, it's been it's been very like I don't know because it's like you know you expect theory to be this very like strict thing and at the same time it isn't because it was like a lot of presentations and then we would do our own presentation and present about other artists to our fellow students and then there was also a very interesting part of the classes where we had to do work in styles of the artists that we were presenting about I don't know I think it was just very mind opening and like I don't know, like broaden my perspectives kind of on what theory can be actually. Yeah, same. I mean, uh, I'm not the type of student I'd say to be very, uh, just to sit down and read. Um, I get way too impatient, but I think theory classes uh, were very nice and weren't, yeah. weren't that strict at all. I mean, you can choose most of the time uh, what do you want to read and yeah, like exactly. uh, the style you want to work in and I think uh, teachers are uh, understanding that. Yeah. Um, there was a um, yeah, there was a, a question um, earlier that we yeah. addressed when we had the, the teacher team there yeah. about interdisciplinarity. Mm. So you are both in the first year, yeah. right? So how did you think about that, like combining the different subjects? Did you have that opportunity yet or what do you think about interdisciplinary work, working? Well, I think like it's definitely possible and I think it's sometimes difficult maybe with the new blog system where maybe you start to get a grip of what you're learning about. For example, I had that with coding. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to like use code for different things, but just because the, the blogs are like eight weeks, it's for me it was like a little bit too short to explore this interdisciplinarity, but I think it's definitely doable. Like people, you know, can do knitting work with code or 
I don't know, explore textile in a graphic design department. So it's not really like sticking to like printed medium or like digital yeah. stuff only. Also, I think graphic design by definition is kind of interdisciplinary already. Uh, just because of the range of uh, like how you can use uh, graphics and typography. There's uh, so many outlets that you can do it on. So. Maybe you can say a little bit, um, I think we're going to wrap up soon, but you can okay. say a little bit how you experienced the um, assessments in both blocks. What, what kind of subjects have you done until now? Uh, we are both in the same class, so we did coding and interactive media design for block one, and then typography and design for the second block. And theory. Yeah, and theory. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. So, how did we experience yeah, the assessments? The assessments. How were the assessments yeah. for you? Was it how you expected? Was it a bit? Was it was it stressful? Was it uh, a good experience? You yeah. Had a lot of feedback. Yeah. You want to okay, start? Uh, I can start. Uh, for me, assessments were like uh, a very good feeling, to be honest, uh, because if you work throughout the whole block and you're in constant uh, contact with the teacher, uh, I think it feels good to just uh, kind of finish one just finish this block and like lay it out on the table, make a little presentation, talk about it and you can get some useful feedback. For me, it wasn't stressful at all, for yeah. example. I was also quite uh, surprised because I thought like presentations, I don't know, like there's this big day that kind of like defines if you pass or not. But at the same time, like the teachers were there for like 99% of the process and they know what you did and they know where you're at. And for the first time, like I didn't really like experience this as like presentations but more like a conversation with the teachers and it was also really nice how everybody like other students could join in and like listen and it didn't feel like this like big thing but more like I don't know like like what I said a conversation it was very like I don't know just like calming kind of yeah I don't know also felt good not to have this like pressure on your shoulders that like wow this is like this presentation assessment stuff yeah yeah and i think you can when you see all this work you done and all your fellow classmates uh it's something you can be proud of because yeah. you worked uh, very hard for two months for example and now it's come to an end yeah and then you see all like the yeah. collection of all your work put together and then i don't know i think it's like the moment where you say like yeah i did great yeah and then setting up for these collectives yeah. Was it, how, how did you experience that? You did it with teachers you set up or? We didn't have collectives yet. Well, you set up this exhibition here mm. yesterday with your work, right? Mm. I think it was ah, no, second years and third years. Yeah, yeah. 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 You mess up in schedule. But okay. maybe somebody else can you follow up on that. You have your yeah. collectives coming yeah. up on yeah. the 31st of January. Yeah. So yes. And then uh, it will look like this. You'll come and bring yeah. your work from block one and block yeah. two. So hopefully that will be a really exciting moment for you to see everything together from yeah, the definitely. classes. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. Yeah. And I think also like reviewing what we did in block one, because that's been a minute ago, I mm. think. Yeah, that might yeah. seem like really long. Just like yeah. forever. Yeah. 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 We're getting some, some responses actually to what you, you are saying. And well, Bo is asking, how much school do you have in a week? Well, like we had four days a week. And there was like two days of one subject and two days of the other subject. And then on Wednesdays we had research and discourse. Mm -hmm. But it kind of stopped towards the end of December and it will resume in February, I think. But it's not related to graphic design. It's like this academy wide thing where you kind of learn about what research can do and how you can implement it in your practice and how you can actually improve your work through research. It's like a lecture series. Happening yeah. every Wednesday. Yeah, but the days kind of look like you come in around 10 and then you have classes until 1 and then you have like the time to do or your longer or longer, but you have time <laughs> yet to do your self study time at school, which I think the academy really took as priority to like give the students the headspace to actually like work in school on stuff and not have like a whole day of classes and then you go home, you're super tired and you have to still work. So I think like the it's the time where you can like actually like take a breath and like sit at school with your fellow students and maybe like get some feedback from them and like discuss ongoing yeah. projects and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't think like I've been overworked. Like it's like it's like a lot of work, but it's like doable, you know, not to a degree where you like, oh my God, I'm so burned out. I don't know where, what to do, where to start and yeah. stuff like that, you know? Also, I'd say it depends on the block that you're doing. Yeah. Uh, 
because some are more intense. Uh, for some, you need to produce way more stuff. Uh, and for some, it's more maybe like when we did coding, it was mostly just uh, coding. It's it's not maybe sitting all day in a workshop and printing posters. Yeah. Uh, so there's different types of classes, I'd say. Well, this leads us to Belinda's question. How is the atmosphere of the school during lessons? So kind of vibe that you have in the classroom. Yeah. Um, I guess you could say like, is it more like somebody's lecturing you or it's more of a workshop? Um, maybe you could say okay. maybe yeah. it's also different. In yeah. Um, for me, the atmosphere is very good. I mean, yeah. uh, also the relation with the teacher. Uh, for me, it's more like having an older friend almost <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, no, the, the same age, the same age. Uh, but just like somebody that know something and is trying to help you yeah and uh yeah and it's just good at atmosphere and also when you get all these like the whole class of people that uh, probably think similar to you and have you have all these common topics yeah uh, true it's really nice to i think yeah. form this group of people like yeah. group of creatives and yeah uh, especially if you never studied art uh, before for example yeah and now you're in this uh, space with just creative people and lots of possibilities. I think it's uh, it's a yeah. great feeling. I think it's also so interesting how there's like people from different backgrounds in one class. There can be people that already did a bachelor in graphic design or never even thought about doing art and was like a spontaneous decision, for example, that they discovered during like the last year of their high school. Yeah. And I don't know, like comparing all those experiences and like, I don't know, like having all these inputs from different parts, I think like, I don't know just like leads to very interesting projects in the end like everybody does like so yeah. many different things yeah okay now i have a, a bit of a difficult question uh -oh. maybe for you yeah. as first years maybe you didn't think about this so much yet what are your uh, career opportunities after studying this course mm. i think you've thought about it you must have like i know where i would like to go and I don't know, I think I was thinking about designing uh, visual identities, maybe at some point for brands and companies. Because I think, yeah, then you're really in control of the design process. And also there's this research part that I quite enjoy. And yeah, I just think then you can really work with big kind of projects and I don't know, like bring all your skills to the daylight. Yeah, also I think there's so many options. Uh what to do after studying yeah. graphic design because it's used almost uh, everywhere. Yeah, everything is graphic design basically. Every, like every sign, every advertisement and stuff like that. So there's always an option, even if you like plan A doesn't work out or plan B, there's always going to be something to do. Yeah, there's some additional questions about this from Amber, um, how the study prepares uh, the students for yeah. the world outside. I think we didn't quite experience it yet because we're in first year, but I think like second year is where the electives start. And I think that's like kind of like preparing for the for the more like professional life in terms of like being a graphic designer. Because mm -hmm. I know for a fact that there's this thing called design lab, right? Design office. Design office. And I think it's like trying to teach you how to like work with a client, but at the same time, like convince the client that your own ideas are valid and not like trying, like the client might try to like transform everything you're doing into like their idea, but at the same time, you're a designer. So like would be nice if your own voice would also come through in the process of it, you know? Yeah. And also, as I said before, uh, I think basically all of the teachers are also working professionals. Yeah. So uh, they know how the real work looks like and I think uh, they're trying yeah. to implement it as well and they uh, yeah they just they yeah. just know because they've been doing this for 20 years and they're yeah. working there yeah so and I think there's also something like internships starting in the fir third year right and then third or fourth, year. third or fourth and then you really work for like a graphic design studio and you do stuff for it so of course, if you can work for an actual like graphic design company, then of course you're getting professional experience. Yes. So yeah. Uh, 
I think we're going on to hand this laptop to somebody else now. Yeah, it was lovely talking to you. Hope everybody's enjoying the stream. Hope you get in. Hope you get in. Fingers and crossed see you for next you. Year. See you next year. Passing on to Domo and Shatsi. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. hey. Do you want to hold it? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, right, guys. So we were thinking of going a bit uh, like further than the than just the department, and taking you guys, um, I don't know, canteen or that kind of stuff. I think nobody was showing it to you guys, right? Or let us know what you want to see um, anywhere else in the building. Um, so here, there's. On the stairs. Um, <laughs> These are the stairs. Yeah, and then we arrive to the fine art department part on the first floor. Here's Alex. Hi. Hey. <laughs> He's coordinating the IST from second year and on. And uh, here we arrive to the canteen corridor. It's made out of glass and everybody's taking selfies constantly. <laughs> yeah, in the mirror. Um, I mean mirror. I can show you. You so see it now? The ceiling as well. Yeah. So here we are. Um, this is usually not here, it's just because of the COVID to separate uh, people. Um, and this is the canteen where you can eat and buy some food there and you can go outside. The food is really well. nice here. <laughs> I love yeah. it. And here? Should we go there? Yeah, maybe. Um, I like showing the galleries, that would be more interesting. At first, the reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can show you the print workshop if it's open. We have the hack lab here. Yeah, there are a lot of. The hack lab is for doing anything like related to, I don't know, tech stuff. I don't really know what is that about. But you can do basically anything. There is a workshop for any kind of stuff. And this is the print workshop where you can see Lino print, Grizzo print, also laser print, of course. This is the. Should we go inside? Sorry. Hey. Yeah, so here we can do the Rizzo prints, um, which we learn in first year. <laughs> and then you can just come whenever you want and do your stuff here. Um, and on the other side, there is the silk screen room. Here. Yeah, this is the um, courtyard. Also, the the library maybe that would be interesting. So here we have the library. We have to be really quiet here, so I won't speak. But. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we have a couple of galleries which we wanted to show, and there you can just uh, there are the assessment week going on. And uh, you can just set up your work in one of those galleries. And it's really nice <laughs> to see your stuff on a huge wall. Maybe we can go back here. All right. Yep. Because you can come from two sides to the. Maybe the apartment. spray booth and the shop. Oh, yeah. Oh. In the basement, we also have a lot of nice things. <laughs> If you need to like work with spray paint or anything toxic, 
um, <laughs> then you can just do it here. We have a pool and a room just for spraying. Mm. All right, that's true. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. You can just write your name on the wall. <laughs> and uh, yeah, also this place. <laughs> Thanks. And we have an academic shop right here on, uh, where you can just buy anything you need, which is really cool. The internet is. Yeah. And also, there are workshops here with the huge machines that I don't know require a whole room, and then you can do that. You can do that here. Hey, hey! We're just having a hi. digital live tour. With the, on the open oh, nice. Say hi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so yes. this is the shop. And yeah, you can get anything here that you need for your project. See you. Yeah, bye, bye. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to the Graphic design department, I guess. Yeah. Do you have some ideas? Oh, and also. But we can just show the metal workshop first. Here's the metal and the wood workshop where you can like do anything with metal and Shall we go in? Yep, why not? So yeah, this is it. That's the wood workshop. The previous one was the metal. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the what's the textile department. The next door is. Are you guys gonna take over the tour? Yeah. Right. Do you wanna take it over now? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Bye guys. Hey everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Hey. Okay. okay. I think we, we have to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so hi, we're hi. taking over. Yeah, I'm Nova. I'm Cornell. I'm from Warsaw. I'm from Oslo. Yeah, we're and gonna uh, hopefully end it. No, we're not ending our life. Someone no. is someone is taking over after us. Yeah. Anyway, we want ten minutes. Oh, we have ten minutes. Yes. But we can we can make a fun ten minutes. Yeah. So yeah, as you can uh, saw earlier, someone was uh, walking uh, with you in our apart department and yeah. Uh, yeah we would like to show you some secrets so here are walls but actually <laughs> it's not only a wall it's also a can you a toilet for so my people were like in the first year like not uh, finding the toilet or walking up and down but we have the yeah. best toilets of the whole school yeah actually are, yeah. yeah super quiet super clean uh everything is maintained very well so we love our toilets and uh, yeah, don't uh, walk downstairs for the toilets because it doesn't make sense. And it's very, our, our department is like high. It's all, it's high level and very high like physically. So um, yeah. But uh, the thing is, our whole uh, department is built out of glass. You maybe heard it. And you have a funny story. Uh, I have that. a funny dramatic story actually. Because uh, yeah, I'm a pretty fast walker. And uh, once I just wanted to, you know, uh, come through the door and 
uh, it was a wall. So after that, um, I was <laughs> I fainted and uh, went to an emergency room. So I highly not recommend to um, to what to bump into walls. Yeah, yeah I almost because, I uh, almost. Uh, Cornell is like walking very fast, <laughs> like ser like very serious about his uh, profession about this. about my profession of walking. <laughs> yeah, about walking and also like yeah. Well, everything. So be careful. Be you careful, know. yeah. But uh, yeah, some other things we would like to talk about here on the in the graphic design department is that sometimes if you're lucky, like in the summer or something, there is um, like a there is like a door over there, and it you can exit or like enter the roof. I actually but never been there. You're so never, I you're think never there. she's lying. But. No, I'm not lying, but it's. It's not allowed, but like oh. sometimes it's open <laughs> and then you can be there. And it's yeah, perfect. we're spilling a lot of secrets actually, but, um, but yeah. I have another roof terrace secret over there. If you if you like uh, terraces and balconies and outdoors on the rooftops, Nova is a person to ask about it. Yeah, you can find you uh, there find is, on the corridors. There Dagny's, uh, is. Oh yeah, we I, were, I would say I'm we're a fan very of this. much appreciating Dagny's poster. So nice. It's we rendered it in the letter studio, like no, I don't know where. But she yeah, we, here. Oh. <laughs> she made a font that's like inspired by like medieval uh, or like um, you know yeah Nordic stuff. She's from Iceland. She made a poster She's in three D. Viking. 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 And yeah, the the fun thing about the department is that it's a project from Letter Studio, but she she was. Uh, able to do a render out of it so we can like make a lot of things yeah yeah only the imagination can stop you or you know the sky is the limit exactly. guys yeah and we are like on the top of the sky so there's no limit it's actually us. very inspiring to be here on top because <clears> the sun <throat> comes like from central station in the morning and goes all the way there so in the evening when you sit in this classroom we had theory here like at two, three, the sun is shining on your face and it's like good vibes. And this is actually, I think this is the nicest department. Yeah. The part of the building because yeah. we, we we always have sun. Yeah. Always. We're and, sunny people. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the other classroom also, the sun just hits perfectly. Yeah. I think so. And it's, it's no, good No, like the best uh, mug shots are from the graphic department. Like Mug shots? Yeah, like selfies. <laughs> Over here? Yeah, the lighting is great. Okay, good job. <laughs> uh, can I show what I made? <laughs> can I show? Do, do you want me to hold it? Yeah, can you hold it for me? <laughs> Thank you. I'm a weak person. I have long, long arms. Yeah, she's very tall. If you will uh, get admitted, you you will. Let's go uh, here. You will show measure. myself. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I know, of course. Yeah. So. I had cool. like a little bit of a bad semester, but I made stuff actually, so I'm happy. I want to just give you a quick tour. Made this uh, theory book about semantics. I made this process book about like, I made this in my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, this is a cool thing. You see? Like all these projects are um, connected in like, 3D renders and everything else. Very talented. Some 3D stuff. And a vase. We also have our friend here, Esther. She did some 3D. She yeah, did, uh, this very scene. crazy things. Yeah. Yeah, we have great um, workshops you can work in. Yeah. Uh, 3D lab and. Uh, the silk screen workshop, I think, is my favorite. I like all the print uh, workshops. Yeah, and you can combine like so many things. Yeah. Like, I'm really gonna like step up my like using of uh, different tools this semester. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, use, do it. Use this. You should stuff, do it. Make silk screen. Everything. If you show off, I will also show off, and I'll yeah, I yeah, will show yeah. you my lamp I made. Actually, I'm not sure if I can. Can we walk here? Yeah, because it's there. It's like the other. Oh, so you see like behind the Alex to be fun. 
It's like, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna interact here and we're gonna. This is behind the scene. And this is a lamp I made. <laughs> Can we ask you a bunch of questions of people asking in the chat? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We would love to do that. Um, so, how would you describe the atmosphere of school during classes? Fun. I mean, I think it very much depends on uh, what uh, what the vibe is in your classroom. But in our class, we're having a lot of fun. Yeah, we are very good friends. And of course, during COVID, it was like, uh, yeah, kind of awkward the times where People were feeling bad, and uh, but I feel like now we are stepping up, and uh, everyone is friends. I would say, and it's, yeah. it's uh, you can say hi to people and just have a chat with anyone, really. Yeah, or you can just like, oh, which department are you from? What are you making? And people are happy to talk about it. People are friendly. Yeah. Because, yeah, because also you have to remember that every one of us. In this are in the same position like we all came from different countries and we don't know many people so everyone is like open which is great mm -hmm. it's a great experience it's nice yeah and uh what about uh what would you uh hope you knew before from uh, or to oh i was thinking like because some of my classmates were like really preparing to go here like really was trying to get the most knowledge that they could gain before like starting to make stuff and uh, for me I, I think I knew a lot about like practical stuff uh, about graphic design but yeah there is so much like you can you can code in like all of these different programs and uh, yeah maybe just like explore what uh, the world of graphic design has to offer yeah yeah, yeah. Cool, all right. Uh, let me find another one. Um, um, let's do it. So, we're trying to look for. Um, yeah, what would you, uh, what was for you an essential part in your portfolio? Like, what would you give somebody a tip in terms of portfolio advice for admission? No, it's, a, it's a tough one. But it's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I went to like a school in uh, Denmark before I went here. It was like a preparatory art school and there we got a lot of assignments and I did those assignments and I was happy to show them in my portfolio. But uh, I think one of the reasons they accepted me here was because I was also making uh, if yeah, at least one book uh, on my free time like instead of uh, getting uh, assignments I was like making a book about something that I really cared about and I was able to talk about that in my interview yeah, yeah. and I think it's good to show the range of the works you're you're showing and you want to show in your portfolio so yeah if you don't have uh, um, any uh, commission work for your for a poster fake it like show the work and also it's very good to actually print the, the poster yeah the poster and uh, show it physically as a picture i think it gives like the dimension of the works and yeah just show off everything you have so, like sketches drawings but don't go too far also because 100 uh, pages portfolio no one will i mean yeah people will get bored at some point <laughs> so yeah also this and i would i don't know if this is a good one or not i would avoid too much questions because a lot of people are, um, I want to get in into Kabaka, so I don't think people have time to actually dive in into your uh, texts about the works. So I would oh, keep it short. Keep it short. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, how big are you? Is your class? A lot of people ask like the, the size classes. Like how many? Years I years? think we are 25 or something. 25 per group. So uh, on year we have about 50. Percent. Yeah. 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 Um, great. Uh, welcome yeah. back, friends, friends family. family, potential candidates, future students, lovely, lovely people. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your day. You guys, you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah, we're still having fun. We have fun all the time. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do after? Like, we have like actually an exhibition for our uh, design inquiry group. Nice. Uh, where, yeah, it's this, an elective we chose this uh, our second year and it's called Design Inquiry Doing Nothing. And like all of this, uh, this block, we have been like uh, 
kind of making sounds, we're making videos. Exploring we, the, no, the doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. like playing yeah. DS, like uh, sewing or like embroidering. Yeah, so we are not, knitting. yeah, so we are not only for you, but also for us. We are all the time at school. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have like a collective lunch that we prepared. Oh, now. that's nice. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Collective lunches doing absolutely nothing uh, and being fucking awesome while doing it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful day. Please, uh, if you can, uh, have a, yourself a really nice beer, glass of wine, maybe a soda pop if you're not into those things. Uh, and we'll hopefully see you around.